Welcome everybody to another Jordan JB Designs tutorial. Today, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make this Joker poster. Let's go! Alright, first things first, we're going to show you the before and after. So, here's what we're going to achieve. The, the image inside the text, all that little dustiness, a little bit of texture. So here's the original image. Joker picture. Open up your document. These are the size, this is the size I'm using. You can use it if you want. Totally up to you. So now I do my usual thing, duplicate the background layer. Don't have to. We're gonna drag our image over. And then we're going to size it up to fit the document. Command T, Control T, depending on what you're using, and center it about, you know, to where Joker's center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, isolate just that portion that we want to use, just the document size, so that way we're working in just that, and that's not kind of cutting off in different areas. Move the original to the back, or underneath the background layer. Excuse me. So what I want to do before I start adding the effects is I'm going to make some adjustments to it, kind of, you know, a little bit less, a little bit less contrast, if you will. And then I want to do what I, if you watch the Thor um, poster tutorial, it'll be on there. But I make adjustments, and then I add these um, kind of paint effects almost to where it looks like it was painted, like I drew it. And then I'm going to go up to filter, style or sharpen. Unsharp mask, gonna bring that to about 100, the radius at two, hit okay. I'm gonna go down to filter again, noise, and then reduce noise. I'm gonna bring the strength all the way up to 10, everything else zeroed out. It's gonna make it a little blurry, but we're gonna bring back some of that, that detail and the, the, the sharpness to it. And from there, we are going to duplicate the layer. Apologize for the weird breath. Add a high pass filter, radius at two. That's under filter, very bottom other, high pass filter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the blend mode of that top layer to linear light. That's gonna bring back some of that, those lines, the, te the uh, t t texture, but the uh, sharpness of the whole image. I'm just gonna show you a little bit here. Yeah. And then you're just gonna merge those two layers. Command or Control E to merge them. Now we're gonna add that that uh, waviness. So we're gonna go up to Filter, Diffuse or Stylize, then Diffuse. Pick the very bottom option. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> then we're gonna rotate our entire image, and we're just gonna add that Diffuse every time we rotate it, so that way it has a more uniform look to it. Otherwise, it kind of get the lines get a little weird on me and on you, and so just. A little extra step to help help the the effect. And there we go. See, so look, it looks a little little wavy, little paint like. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat the process we did earlier. Add an unsharp mask. We're just gonna bring down the amount so that way it's not as intense. Leave the radius at two, and uh, yeah, hit OK. And then we're gonna add a reduced noise again. Same settings. When it comes up, just hit OK. Then we're going to duplicate again, add another high pass filter. Same settings, leave radius at 2, hit OK. I'm going to change the blend mode again to overlay. Again, bringing back some of that crispiness. Sorry, I use linear light. So we're gonna show the before, then after. Before, after. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna merge those two layers again, because then we're gonna duplicate the whole thing. I'm just going back, referencing the original. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, make the image appear in the text. Um, the text being the tagline from the movie, uh, put on a happy face, 
If you haven't seen Joker, I'd recommend seeing it. Not because, you know, the poster or anything, just it's a good movie. So we get our text. Um, font I'm using is called Amboy. It's a real, you want a real bold text. Something that's, you know, not gonna, because if you have a really thin text, it's not gonna show up too well. So you wanna get a bold text, you wanna make sure it's nice and close, good size. So now I'm gonna adjust my text to, to kind of fit better, to, to be a little more uniform in the way it looks and in the sizes. So it's gonna be kind of, I adjust both the overall size and then the uh, the spacing or, I can't, I can't remember where it's tracking. No, not tracking, yeah, the spacing, I guess. <laughs> to kind of fit everything nice and neat. I just need to adjust the word face where it fits the rest of it. Again, you can do each text layer individually and it'll match up a lot better. So you can kind of put a guideline and fit it better. I just doing this kind of quick so that way you get the idea. Just making small adjustments here. There we go. And you want a nice, and compact like this to where you can you know what it says but also to where the image will look look better in it because if you you know use a smaller smaller font and it's really thin it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to tell what the image is so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically mask the image to the text how you do that you you get between the the, the two layers you can hold alt and you're gonna click and it'll mask it to the to the text Someone probably has better terminology for this. You know, it's fine. I'm, you know, it's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a few adjustment layers to the background to make it the so that the the black the dark is a little less intense. There we go. It's just kind of an overall dark. Less or gray, I guess, because it wouldn't be black. I have my dust texture here. Um, just go into Google, type in dust texture, Photoshop, or you know what have you. You'll find some. Um, some are free, some aren't. If you're just doing this for fun, you find a free one. It may not look that great, but hey, it'll work. You put it on the very top. You change the blend mode to screen and boom, we got that texture. Now we're gonna add a few adjustment layers to the, the texture layer here. We're just gonna, you know, clip it to the texture layer, make sure it's only affecting that one and adjust how you will, how you feel like it matches your image. I kind of, again, offset it a little bit to where the dark's not as intense and brought the gamma up. These are little minor adjustments. These are not, you know, huge to where it's gonna affect the whole, you know, completely reverse everything. <laughs> not reverse, but like kind of alter it drastically. Again, I'm gonna make sure I'm adjusting just the texture layer, the dust layer. And I'm gonna add a little bit of green to it because that's kind of the overall theme of the Joker posters is there's a lot of green in them. So you turn that blue that was at the bottom more, more green. <laughs> I kind of suck at these tutorials, don't I? <laughs> don't worry, it's getting better. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add that the uh, the proper adjustments to the uh, the actual image of Joker, so that way we have a to make it a little to make it brighter, make it look, make it pop. It's hard to say pop on this <laughs> microphone because then it's gonna hurt somebody's ears. 
I'm just going through seeing the differences and I uh, made some mistakes so we're gonna readjust that's why I use adjustment layers so I can go back and fix up what I need to fix <laughs> looking okay uh, but it still doesn't quite match my original poster He's still a little dark, um, but we'll, I'll fix that in a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add that little red smile there. I'm going to use a, a kind of a darker red, not too dark, because then it won't show up. I'm going to grab the brush tool. I'm going to go into our brush tool little settings here. You're going to go into dry brush media, dry media brushes, sorry. Select one that looks a little grainy, a little kind of got some, some life to it. <laughs> And then from here, you're just going to paint over where his smile would be, and you're going to adjust the size of the brush as you are moving, as you are painting. Um, don't just do one long streak across, because then it's just going to look funny. You just kind of want to do little dabs and kind of move it. Um, kind of swipe every now and then. But, you know, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of sizing the brush differently, moving it a little bit, but then also clicking, so that way it kind of gives it a more freehand feel because if you just do one long swipe it's gonna look weird and like that's all you did <laughs> so yeah i mean use whatever brush you want you can use just a regular brush and kind of go from there but i like to use these ones because it gives it a little more more of like a spray painted i guess making little adjustments here again this was just a little a little effect when I first made the original um, that I added on kind of last minute but all oh, that'll make it stand out a little more um, don't change the blend mode I don't know why I went there but <laughs> I just make it a little bit darker so there we go Had a nice he put on a happy face <laughs> now I'm just gonna add the uh, Joaquin Phoenix text at the top so everybody knows who the star is be sure and check your spelling otherwise people will not let you forget it i messed up on the spelling on a few things and uh that's just me just rushing through something though obviously if it's like you know important work i'm gonna double triple quadruple check these things <laughs> so the the font i'm using is called brandon grotesque um, sizing it and like I like to use a thinner text when it comes to something like names and stuff because it gives it gives a contrast it gives you know a little bit of contrast between the the two type of text we're using just gonna size it to where it matches up nicely with the edges of the other bolder text and I'm just gonna kind of adjust and play around with everything be a little bit of a not perfectionist because this isn't gonna look perfect but that's what I mean that's just part of it you adjust you readjust and then you adjust some more <laughs> you want to man when you move something or you're gonna size something up you want to make sure you select all of of what you're trying to move because if what I just did there was I moved some of it but I didn't move the uh, the high pass filter layer and it made it look kind of weird gave it a weird little glow Yeah, now I'm going to go through and adjust the actual image of Joker because it he's not standing out as much as in my original poster. He's looking a little dull here, so I remember going like when I was re-recording and I was going back and forth, I was like, what did I do? What did I do differently? <laughs> but I'm just going to add a little bit, a little bit more brightness to it. I go through, hit O on your keyboard, get that little, that little tool, and I'm going to select the shadows under range bring down the exposure and just kind of draw all over all this to brighten it up you can use an adjustment layer i probably should have but i just one other technique you can use <laughs> and it kind of you know brightened it made him look a little better so he stands out from the background if you have him too dark he's just going to blend in with the background you're not going to be able to read what the text says 
Now I'm going to show you where I got this the, the Joker logo from. And it's just from one of their, like their first teaser poster they brought out. Select it with the Marti tool. Get the Move tool. Move it over to your document. Bring it to the top. And then you're going to change the blend mode to screen. And it's going to get rid of that dark background. And I'm going to make little adjustments. I'm going to take out the tagline because it's already in there in bold. <laughs> I'm going to move up the date of when it comes out. So that way it kind of syncs up with the Joker logo. Yep, right there. And that way so it gives me room on the bottom too to add my little watermark. Adjust it little by little. Right here, I'm I'm just doing little little tweaks to to kind of uh, not a, just not a, it's just part of me that does this. I don't know because every now and then I see a little bit of the background on the Joker like logo, and I want to take that out. <laughs> I'm just erasing some of the background so the hard edges aren't there. And there we go. At the bottom, I size down the the logo to so I can fit in my watermark. And that is the Joker put on a happy face poster. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. It probably was a little rough again. <laughs> but again, the idea is for these is they're a little more laid back, a little more no, I guess not laid back, but they're a little more rushed in time of where if you already know Photoshop, you can go in, start throwing these things on and, you know, achieve the effect you want. It's not, you know, set in stone. You can go back, rewatch. It's not like, hey, you watched it once. You can't watch it again, but <laughs> that would be kind of ridiculous. But I hope you, I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was clear in what I'm saying. I'm going to put as much as I can, like on the screen so you know like the, the shortcuts and whatnot, if you don't know them. Um, there are a lot of great tutorials out there that are more in-depth and are better. <laughs> but mine are, you know, mine are going to get better. I'm going to go in more detail. I'm going to try and show you how I do these things, why I do them. So yeah, hooray. Thank you once again for joining me. You know all the little, the little endings. Follow me here and there. Don't forget to check out the podcast, Jordan JB Talk. Um, I'm going to be doing a... I just did a Joker review. You can go and check that out. That'd be great. If you do this um, poster effect look, go ahead and uh, you know tag me in it. Jordan James B on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Love to see your version of maybe this Joker poster. Maybe you change the colors. Maybe you... Whatever you may have done. It would be great to see. Thank you again for listening. I uh, hope you stay tuned. I got another another video idea about to drop soon. And then I got a lot more coming. So it's not just these quick lackluster tutorials and, you know, speed art videos. So a lot more on the way. Hope you thank you for subscribing. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell the people you meet on the street to like, share, subscribe. You know all this stuff. Don't forget to be a good buddy and uh, peace.